welcome or well oh no 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 hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel this week i'm filming a really fun video at least for me it's gonna be fun i think for you guys too because this one's gonna be more interactive you guys can help me out so this week instagram slash you guys are gonna be choosing what books i read for the week i think this is fun i have this thing where i struggle picking my next read even if i have a tbr like i still don't i never know which one i want to pick so we're gonna make it easier for me and fun for all of us and you guys are gonna help pick which books i read this week so i'm just gonna be posting instagram stories whenever i guess i'm gonna post one today and when i finish that book i'll post the next one there'll probably be like three I'm assuming this week well it depends how fast i get through them three to four books i'm gonna post my first one like right now i just have to pick which two books we're gonna go between let's see so this is my options or these are my options so i have this book that i was told i like need to read the house across the lake by riley savior i heard it was really good it's a thriller but i am like feeling a thriller right now so i have that one and then i guess we could put it with the flat share like a romance with a thriller could be fun fun mix i do want to read the thriller first if you want me to be completely honest I'm wondering why I have so many books on my desk right now. It's because I just filmed a video. Okay, let me take a picture. Which one do I read next? Pull. Okay, the flat share. Is that two words? No. Let's say the hat flat share for sure, and then we could say the house across the lake. Can I change the color of this? Ooh, I want it to be. Oh. It doesn't change. Okay, posted. I think we should give it 24 hours. Today is Friday at 2 o'clock. So tomorrow, which is Saturday at 2, I think that is perfect timing. And that's when we will check the results together and see which one won. I'm really hoping, honestly, the thriller one. I'm like feeling it right now. But anyway, okay. I will come back tomorrow when a book is chosen. We will look at the results together and we will read it together. I feel it's going to be a reading vlog mixed with this. So this should be fun. I'll be back tomorrow. Hi, guys. Okay. I know everyone's just dying to know. Which which book one? I am too, so let's screen record. I'm like out of breath because I just walked up the stairs. Anyway, okay, House Across the Lake won. It was actually kind of close. Ooh. House Across the Lake got 58%. Flat Share got 42. That was a close one. We're gonna be starting the House Across the Lake in a little. I'm gonna finish the book I'm currently reading and then we'll start this. I'm very excited. Where is it? I actually was like hoping this one would win. Really have been wanting to read this one because it's a thriller. I'm in a thriller mood right now. Two, heard great things. Three, I was just hoping it would win. So this is about a woman. She's widowed. She tries to escape bad press. She's an actress and she watches a family across the lake. And then I'm pretty sure she makes friends with the wife, but then she goes missing. Seems very interesting, very intriguing. I'm gonna read this with you guys or we're gonna read it together. You're gonna watch me read. We have reactions. I'll get my thoughts, my ratings. It should be fun. And then once I finish this, I'm gonna upload or I'm gonna post a poll for the next book. Don't know what it's gonna be or the next books. I don't know exactly. I have to see how I feel after this one. And yeah, that should be fun. So, we're gonna start this in a little, but this is the choice to start us off for this week. next morning and this is gonna sound real random but i got wrist surgery <laughs> i didn't say anything about it but like it was so just minor and small but i did so i have to wear a cast for two weeks like small little cast not that small honestly but whatever so if you see it that's why but good news with this is i'm in bed for a very long time not a very long time but like i need to rest so we're gonna be reading all day which leads me back to the book okay so literally right off the bat like page two plot twist not plot twist but like you find something out so i'm very intrigued i only got to page i think like 30 maybe 40 the main character met a woman across the lake so very interested i'm very excited to see where this goes heard there's lots of plot twists so that's gonna be very interesting but continue reading we'll see my reactions and how this goes and then i'm gonna post maybe later the options for the next book we read this week literally in the same spot i haven't moved all day it's now five o'clock and i think i started this vlog i honestly don't even know what time i started reading maybe like 12 ish but um i'm on page 130 i've been going really slow not because the book is bad but because i keep like either falling asleep or just like zoning out because i was 
on Dranesthesia this morning, so I'm a little bit tired. Back to the book. It's really good. In the beginning, it was giving very much a mix between Layla by Colleen Hoover and what was it called? The Woman in the Window? Just really different aspects. Literally, those two books, if you've read them, are not what this book is like about, from what I know. It's just like the, the vibe and the setting and like kind of what was happening in the very, very beginning. Like, gave me a mix of that. Someone might be able to relate. I feel like it's not dragging on in the beginning. So I feel like in some thriller mysteries, like, they give you so much like background and so much like in the beginning that you're like kind of bored before you get like a plot twist or something happening but i'm 130 pages in and we've had like maybe three or four i wouldn't say pl uh, i guess they're plot twists but like things brought to the attention you know what i mean it's going really well that's all i have to say i will let you know how it goes if i find anything crazy out nothing too crazy yet just like the little beginnings of things but there's definitely like at the end of each chapter or the end of like most chapters has been interesting so i do have a few suspicions in my head or a few thoughts of what i think could happen maybe i'll be right sometimes i literally think so far-fetched solutions just because i'm like if it's a good thriller mystery book then maybe it'll be crazy but we'll find out so okay see you next time i don't know when that will be but i'm gonna keep reading So I think I'm gonna finish the book either tonight or tomorrow So I want to have another one up on the story ready to be already picked by the time I get there So now it's time to decide which one I'm gonna put up next. I don't know what I'm feeling I'm gonna have some options and then we'll go through them together. Can you help me pick which book I should read next. Okay I'll put out a few Maybe I don't want to read Daisy Jones yet. That book scares me mail full tilt by emma scott it's like kind of weird shape if he had been with me Warren nolan i don't know if many people read this i saw it on tiktok i think i'm gonna put those two up but i don't know if i should I do a popular one sorry you didn't help me choose i already chose without you <laughs> my desk is not pretty to take a picture next to okay which next what is that do a poll full tilt okay now we wait. Well, first, now we finish the book that I'm currently reading, and then we wait to see what's next. I have a feeling that Full Tilt is going to win. I don't know which one I want to win. Honestly, I would be happy to read either, because I've heard good things about both. So, I guess we'll just wait and see. I just woke up and started reading again. I thought I was going to finish last night, but I didn't. I'm on page 225 right now of like 349. I thought I was going to finish last night. I didn't. I fell asleep. I woke up to the biggest plot twist ever. I wish I could say it. I really wish I could. I didn't see that coming, but I think I saw... Oh, God. Okay, I keep going. I hope I finish it this morning. I'm going to like speed through it because I like need to know what's going on, how this ends, and where Catherine is. So. Oh, that was crazy. Good morning. I have finished The House Across the Lake. This one's literally insane. I don't remember the last thing I said about it or I think it was this morning where like a bunch of plot twists were going on and like it's not what I expected it to be. But I love thrillers like this because I feel like in thrillers where there's like build up until that one big plot twist at the end, I'm out of breath. Every time I walk up the stairs, I just get really out of breath. Anyway, okay. I feel like normal thrillers, or like a lot of thrillers I read, you get all the build up until the very end where you get that plot twist or you get that like things that come together at the end and you figure everything out. This one, it's like there's new plot twists or things coming to light like every other chapter and it was just like out of left field even until the end you think it's over but it's not so it kept me on my toes and i think that's what i really liked about it it's definitely out there a little crazy but definitely interesting so i do recommend this i'm very happy that i read it to anyone that said i should read it especially Haley, because she was a big reason i even bought this book and i recommend if you want a thriller with lots of plot twists and just like keeping on your toes I like that's like what a good thriller needs you know it doesn't leave you bored on to the next one like I posted last night, I posted if he had been with me in full tilt and I'm a little upset because I think the one that I didn't, I mean I want to read both of them, but the one that I wanted to read more lost, but last night I kept checking it and it was 50-50 the whole time. It would be like 750 votes and the other one would have like 735 or like it would keep going up and it would have like 980 votes and the other one would have like 970 like as it kept getting more votes it was still 50 50 and i was like am i gonna have to read both of them which wouldn't be a bad thing but i was also getting dms that these two books are gonna make me cry and ruin my life and i had no idea that they were that sad so 
I guess we're gonna find out. But also, I don't know which one it was, but someone said that they've read it two years ago and it's been one of the only books that's stuck with them. I think it was If He Had Been With Me. But let's see which one won. I think Full Tilt did. Yeah, okay, so look, it was 55-45 and the votes were so close. I mean, not really that much anymore, but last night, I'm not kidding, it was like so close. So, okay, Full Tilt has won. We are gonna read that one. I still wanna read If He Had Been With Me this month. I don't know when it'll be, but let's read the back of this together. I don't even know what it's about. I literally just bought it. The book is like really like long. Like look, the pages are really white. I don't know. I have like a specific way I like books, but this is just kind of interesting. Hold on. I didn't rate the house across the lake. Okay. It was like really good. I would give it four and a half. But the thing is on Goodreads, obviously you can't give half stars, but I would give it four and a half. I wouldn't give it five stars just because I don't know. I wish I read it in like one sitting, but obviously I had stuff to do and I couldn't just sit there and read it. I had to stop. But I feel like if I sat there in one sitting and just read the whole book, I would have been just like blown away. That's on me, but I'm going to rate it four stars. It only has 3.6 on Goodreads, which I'm just like, I don't know. I'm giving it four and a half. I think it was good. I think it was worth it. A good thriller mixed in my romances, but okay. Full tilt. Pretty sure this is a duet. I don't know if I can read this as a standalone. I think I can, but we'll figure that out when I'm done. I, what I get from this is Casey is an alcoholic musician. Passes out on her limo driver's couch, which is Jonah Fletcher. Jonah Fletcher is running out of time. This book is sad from what people say, so am I connecting dots here and he's sick? I don't know. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let her crash and then they get a connection. All right, interesting. I think I need a romance now after that thriller. And then there's a playlist in the front. I love when there's playlists. I don't actually listen to the, those playlists or those songs. I will find a playlist for the book on Spotify anyway, but all right, it says part one, full tilt is a noun poker, playing emotionally instead of rationally, making impassioned rather than logical decisions. Prologue is Jonah 15 months ago. Is this dual point of view? It is. We're gonna start this, see how I like it, see what happens. I will come back with further updates. If you see me in this crew neck all week, we're not talking about it. I just love it. And I've just washed it again, so it's not like it's dirty. But anyway, this book is like, like I'm getting vibes of how it's gonna end. Then I'm like, there's a duet. But does it really end like that? It's so intense. And I don't know if I want an, an intense book like this, but I also, I set myself up because everyone was telling me it's intense, you're gonna cry. And it's a book like that. And I was like, how bad could it be? But you know what? Like, they weren't wrong. I'm gonna have to stick through it. It's really giving a thousand boy kisses right now in a different way. If it's gonna pull those emotions that that book got from me out in this book, I'm in for like a whirlwind. But I'm gonna keep reading. I'll update you guys in the morning because I'll probably only read a little bit. And I guess we're just gonna have to see. <sighs> I just see it going so downhill. I'm not ready for it. I'm not prepared. Anyway, okay. Good night. Hold on. But you be used like so loud. I'm about 120 pages left, so I'm gonna post the next story of books. So I already have this one. Let's take a picture this morning. Okay, let's say all the bright places. Let's do an emoji with this one. What's the other one called? I always get these wrong. It's good as dead. That's not what I wanted to say. Finish the series. Loki in a thriller mood again. Please choose. My next read. Okay, post. I'm just gonna read for a little now. I mean, I've been taking my little breaks. I had to go back to the doctor today, so I'm gonna keep reading, but I will update you guys. further in i'm on one page 203 i always forget how many pages there are as many times as i look like there's 285 so i've got 80 pages left i feel like majority of people reading this book would not like jonah's brother theo and i personally i like him he gets on my nerves because he's so protective over his brother but for good reason you know like i would probably be the same way so i sympathize with him but i was thinking about it and i was like people probably don't like it and how protective he is over him like all up in his business but like i completely agree and i think i like him for that reason which i feel like most people probably thought he was being too much but i don't think so anyway this book i'm gonna be completely honest i don't like love it like i thought i was gonna be like obsessed with it like five star read obsessed and it's not giving that i don't know if it's because the trope that's in this book not for me after a thousand boy kisses and after it's like the only book that's really done this to me i just can't read books that have 
I don't really want to say anything, but like a trope like this because it's like an inevitable ending I mean, I don't know how it ends but like it's just like they connect and they get together But you know like they shouldn't and I guess you can't like they can't really control their feelings so That's why they do and it's just like I know this isn't gonna end well And it's just like why am I continuing to read if I know it's gonna hurt me But so don't love Casey and Jonah like just their characters that much I don't know what it is like I like them like together It's just like them not my fave but it's fine it's going well i expected it to be like a five star read for me and i don't think it's it's there so that's a bummer but it's not like bad just not not what i expected really i'll probably come back towards the end maybe or after i'm finished i don't know i hope it doesn't leave on a cliffhanger and don't have to read the second one right away because i don't want to but yeah okay i'll be back i'm on to page 229 we're like really close to the end and i'm like waiting for that part to happen where i'm like gonna cry or like something bad happens i'm gonna keep reading but i just need to tell you that i'm like really close to the end and that i'm like really nervous you can watch me i guess oh my god i'm so nervous not good all i know is not good i have 30 pages left and i just like, do I take a break now and, like, compose myself for what's gonna happen? I think I might have to. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a break and then we'll finish. And maybe I won't bawl my eyes out. I literally swore when I saw that I wasn't gonna cry. I was like, I'm not even, like, that connected to these characters. Tanya said, this isn't, like, the main character girl. If you've never read it, it's, like, his coworker girl. It's the best thing you've ever made. And he said, because loving her is the best thing I've ever done. I need to take a picture of that one. Oh, that one hurt. That one real bad. I'm on page 271. I have about a little over 10 pages left. And I just, I could do it. And you know what? This is why this trope, it, I just can't do it. It's because, like, I, this like pain that it gives trying to read it it's just like too much so i have to keep going Thank God I didn't get my lashes done today because this would have been a mess. I'm not even done yet. Oh God. I know you guys prepared me, but I'm not even kidding. Like, like I knew what was coming and I was like, I know what's coming. Like I'm going to be fine when it comes. I also, like I said before, like I didn't like love the characters that much. Like I didn't, I don't know. They weren't my favorite written characters. I think I'm fine now. I mean, I don't know how it's going to end now, but how is there a duet? Uh, I'm a little confused. I only have like a few pages left. Okay, I'm going to finish, come back, get my bearings together again, and then we'll talk. Hold on. I'm sorry. What is the second one about? I think I need the story to end there. It's called All In. There's no way. I... I'm sorry. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to ruin anything, but if you've read the second one, can you please tell me how you felt? Like, was it justified? Hold on. Nothing about that seems right to me, so I'm probably gonna leave it there for the sake of Jonah, but okay. I think I'm gonna rate it. What is that? Oh my wall what the hell why did my wall look so weird for a second anyway okay usually i wait a little now to let it sink in before i read it unless like i know the rating here's the thing the book was good some parts just fell flat for me i was bored i knew it was coming when it did come obviously it hit i got very emotional it did what it had to do i just didn't like love the characters i don't know would i give it a three and a half or would i give it a four i also don't really love this trope because of the way it makes me feel i think i'm gonna do three and a half what if like everyone's giving it five stars and i feel bad giving it less than that but you know what? I'm giving it three and a half. It's not what I expected, but it's also, it was a lot. It was definitely a lot. You guys prepared me for it, which was very nice of you guys, so thank you. There's no way the second one has that high rating. I think it's like four point something on Goodreads, but I just, are we hearing the same things? I just cannot believe that that's what the second one is about. The whole time I was like, what's the second one about? And now, if you want to know how I feel, no. That was crazy. That was a whirlwind. I know it hasn't been 24 hours, but I am gonna check the next book, because I'm pretty sure I already know which one is, like, winning by far. Yeah. Okay. I knew this was gonna happen, and I don't know if I swayed people, because I put it on the bottom before, it, obviously, you saw. I said, don't let it sway you, but I'm in low-key in a thriller mood. I don't know. If that swayed people, or people actually, more people want me to read as good as dead. So, I'm gonna let it go for the 24 hours, but I, there's no way all the Brave Pussies will win. And honestly, I'm happy, because that book is apparently sad. I mean, I could tell by the back of it in the summary how sad it is, and what it's 
out. We're gonna read as good as dead next. That was a lot. I just, I'm gonna need like all night to process this. So I think we're gonna start this tomorrow or I'll let you know tomorrow if I ended up reading any tonight. I can't believe that that's what the second book is about. I mean, you know what? It could be justified. I would recommend it. I just, I was prepared with the fact that it was gonna be sad. So I just want everyone else to be prepared. If you want a sad book, you should read it. I just didn't love the whole rock star girl. I don't know, usually like the bad girl, good guy tropes in books are my favorite, but this guy was kind of like, I wouldn't say grumpy. He was not grumpy at all, he was very nice, but he was like the protective, like he was like that kind. So it was like a mix, but yeah. We're gonna read as good as that next. I read the first two sometime last year. I don't even remember how many months ago it was. Loved the first one, but I was like really deep in my romance phase, but I was told that the series was so good, so I got all of them. And I loved the first one so much that I bought the second two. Read the second one, it was really good, but I think at the end of that, I was just like, I need romance. I was so, I just couldn't go right into another mystery thriller. I read like 30 pages of it and I was like, this is not giving right now. And I DNF'd it, but I knew I was gonna come back to it. So I've had it. So I'm excited to get back into it because I have been in mystery slash thriller moods and it's been on my bookshelf for a while. So I'm gonna start that sometime soon, maybe in the morning, but I will let you know when I do. Hi guys. I think this is coming out after the vlog of me doing my hair. So if you haven't watched that, go watch it. But I did get my hair done today and it's a lot later, got it cut, feeling refreshed. But, okay, funny story. Like I said, I read this before and I thought I only got like 30 pages in, but everything felt so like familiar to me. Like I felt like I already read it. And then I got here and you can see it's like doggy tagged a little. And this is where I stopped last time. And this is a hundred pages in is how far I got. And literally I got to page 106 or 108 yesterday. I closed the book and I didn't read it the rest of the night. I don't know why I can't get into this one. I don't know, but I'm going to continue reading it. I told myself that I'm spending the rest of the day finishing it. I don't care how many hours it takes. I have like 400 pages left. We're finishing this book today because I want this out of my TBR list. I want it read. You guys picked it. That's the point of this video. So I haven't gone too far. Like, there's nothing really crazy happening. Pip, the main character, is getting like, or she thinks she's getting like stalked by someone. So now she's on another investigation that she wants to figure out what's going on and why they're leaving her clues and that kind of stuff. So I mean, it's interesting. It's just like, I don't know why I can't get into it. It's fine. I'm going to continue reading. I will update you guys if I get anywhere. If I don't finish it today, then there's an issue. You guys are going to have to yell at me. I'm going to continue reading. I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that Your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long so I'm on page 410, finally. I have about 40-ish pages left and I think I know what's about to happen. And if I'm right, I'm gonna be really upset. I think this third book, the storyline, it's not my favorite from all of the series, like all three of them. Honestly, I think the first one's my favorite and then second and then the third is the last. I just don't, I'm like on edge the whole time. And it took me like a while to get into it. Literally, even though part two I started this morning, I wasn't even really into it. I was kind of forcing myself to read and I've been kind of forcing myself. I don't know what it is. I'm surprised because like everyone's saying the third one's their favorite, but I'm like, I don't think it's mine. I need to tell you guys that I'm about to find out the ending, I think. And someone said that the ending was like sad. And I was like, why is it sad? But I have a weird feeling. I know what's about to happen. So I'm gonna read. Avoid what I can. Guys, I'm almost done, but I just remember the first video. I filmed the first reading vlog of the first Little Girl's Guide to Murder, and I thought Robbie did it, and I was just like, it's come full circle. I love Robbie so much. He would do anything for Pip, and he is just like so perfect. Love him. Anyway, what I thought was gonna happen didn't happen. I'm gonna go finish, and I'll be back at when I'm done. I have finished. The sad ending technically wasn't that sad because like the very, very, very end with the text message, like it all comes together. So like, yes, it was sad. She did what she had to do. I still don't think this was my favorite. It did all come together. I'll say that. I did like that it all came together. I just, the whole storyline, I don't want to say anything if you haven't read it, but like covering up things like that isn't my favorite type of mystery. Like when halfway through the book like that, I can't inflict anything. The plot twist came of <laughs> Plot just came in like the middle of the book. I was like, okay, where are we going from here? And then obviously kept going, but I don't know. It was intense. I just couldn't really get into it for the second time. And that's when I knew that it wasn't going to be my favorite, but it was good. I'll probably rate it like three and a half stars. I don't know. I was so excited for this too. And it just wasn't a fave, but it's fine. I do love the series. I recommend the series. I think it's a really good young adult mystery thriller type of books. This one just wasn't my favorite, which is okay. Thought I was going to finish this like two days ago and that just didn't happen. So these were the three books that you guys chose for me to read this week. 
week we had two thriller slash mysteries a very sad romance i just want to thank you guys for interacting with the stories and helping me choose books and watching me read them let me know your opinions on any of them if you've read these if you have any other recommendations for books or videos or literally anything comment them down below also a vlog is going to come out in a few days of me doing my hair so this is a sneak peek pretend that you didn't see my hair done i mean i'm also going to probably post a picture on instagram but like when the video comes out of me doing my hair you can see the before and after i thought the vlog of me doing my hair was going to come out before this one up so this would have been not a surprise of my hair the vlog would have been like the first time everyone saw it but it's fine that's just a really small problem that i had to figure out so okay thank you guys for watching this was a very fun video to film maybe i'll do it again when i'm trying to figure out my tbr list and just ask you guys to help me out because you guys i feel like know me better than myself when it comes to books and what i like and stuff it's actually very fun and interesting that's all i have to say thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed i will see you hopefully in the next one bye